Hey, how's it going, Ryan? Kelsey here at Mixed Digital Marketing. This one, I'm leave you a quick video in regards to some SEO strategies for recommending you doing to your website to help you ranking high on Google. So we'll go over three things. First is content. Second are backlinks. Third are citations. So content should refer to words on the page. In terms of your homepage, we typically recommend 1,000 to 1,500 words, and each additional service page recommend 500 to 750 words. So this is because within Google's algorithm, it can't really determine how nice a website is. So really all it can rely upon are the words that are written there to properly rank you in Google. And so, with that being said, especially for your homepage being the most important page of your website, that's why we recommend an abundance of words. And not just any words, the right keywords. Well, let's take a look at your website and see what you got going on. So here your website, as I can see here, I mean, it's really, it's really easy to read. Um, and so with that, it's, it's very easy to scroll through. So nice, simple design. But in terms of content, I think there's a lot of room here to add what you do. And so here, I mean, obviously, yes, you're a mechanic and that's great, but I think it'd be important to layer in also just how you service the Leander area um, and some of the, some of the service offerings that you do within the homepage that then links to your different services that you offer on this page. And that helps within Google's algorithm because it just kind of shows power within the website itself. And so other things that, that could be very important to do is having um, a button here that, that shows the number that's very easy to call. Because a lot of people are reading on mobile and they just want to get to you as quickly as possible. And so having a button to call, also having a contact form, um, a way to reach, like if people aren't comfortable calling, they like to fill on a form. So having a contact form here that's accessible is also, also really beneficial and just some uh, kind of leading indicators to help the, the person when they visit the website to get a hold of you. And so... Maybe wondering, well, okay, well, how do I know what the right keywords are to kind of just layer on this content though? So the program would be called Ahrefs that we use and we plug in any website on the web. So here it kind of spits out some rankings and feedback for us to give us an idea of how to optimize a website to rank better in Google. So here, as you can see, typically there's a rank in, in where your website would be placed. It'd be in, probably in the millions, so we're talking about billions of websites. So really all we care about is everything to the right here. Your URL rating is a rating of both your on-site and your off-site SEO. And so your on-site SEO consists of that content, internal links I'm talking about, and your off-site SEO consists of what we call backlinks. And so your DR rating is a rating of your off-site SEO. So due to the fact that you don't have any power here, that's why there's no ranking being built here. And it just shows the importance of the off-site SEO end. And so to take a step back though, a backlink is a hyperlink that you find on an article on blog post so that when you click on it, it leads to another website. And so Google loves this within, within their algorithm because now it's like another website is referring you. It's sort of just like one big popularity contest and the more popular that you see in Google's eyes, the more relevant and the more often you'll rank at the top of Google. And with that, obviously not many people are gonna scroll past page one. And so you wanna be appearing here so that way you're getting as much business as possible. So when, and to take a step further though, we, again, we care about referring domains. So referring domains are just a fancy phrase for a website. And so within a one website, you can have a hundred backlinks, but you only get part from that website once. And so that's why we want to get as many websites as possible. And step further than that, we care about do follow referring domains or websites. So really not every website has to lend you power. So we want to find the ones that do. And the stronger their website is, the more power that you get. And when that happens, you start ranking for more keywords, getting more traffic, traffic value, more business. And so... I typed in auto repair Leander. And so this, within within the Leander area for auto repair, it's getting about 200, 300 searches per month according to the software I was just on. And so here's people paying for Google ads, paying a premium to be on top of Google. But it only gets about 20% of the volume. So at least 80% for the rest of the field. 40% typically comes from the map pack. And then 40% typically comes from organic search rating. The number one thing that typically affects being in the top three consistently is going to be organic search rating. So as you can see here, DK Auto Repairs, number one spot, they're in the number three spot in the map pack. So across Leander, on average, they're probably going to appear here consistently. But the second thing that's going to affect you being in the top three are, are what we call citations. So citations are online directories, you Yellow Pages, or even Yelp and Facebook, where you have your business name, address, and phone number listed exactly as you have it set up in Google My Business. And it's very important they are exactly the same. Also, you won't get proper credit from Google. So we use a different software that allows us to see how many citations your competitors have, and we make sure we get at least double those. Because citations are really easy to get, it just take a little bit of time to gather. And then the next thing that's gonna affect it are gonna be what we call, I mean, what are Google reviews. And so Google reviews are kind of a good leading indicator that helps people view your business. A great way to capture these are gonna be through text messaging campaigns. And so having a text message opt-in club that, that you have that you, they can go through your website or even when they're in person. So that way after they complete a service, you can shoot them a text to leave you a review after a great service and you have a higher likelihood of getting a five-star review. Let's take a look at DK Auto Repairs and see what they got going on on their website. 
So Dicky Auto, Auto Repair. So as you can see, there's nothing too special about their website. They don't have that much content. There, there's a little bit here on the very top, but it looks like they've their business has been around for a little bit, and they do layer in kind of the big the big hitters with transmission repair, brake repair, kind of those those services that cost a lot more money. And so they're, they're kind of placing those services at the top so that way they appear well in Google. So here you can see I typed in DK Auto Repairs and you can see their rank that they actually have and the UR and DR rating, 28 and 20. So it's really pulling their UR rating up as their offsite SEO. So you can see here they have 102 referring domains, 74 of which are do follow. And with that happening, they're ranking for more keywords, getting more traffic and traffic value. But the fact that this is the top website organically in the in the end area shows me that it's going to be really easy to kind of uplift and get over get over them. So these are some strategies we hope you recommend you do to your website. If you want to learn more about what we can do, please visit www.mixedigitalmarketing.com. Thank you.